Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to jump into Lightroom to look at preset packs and how they can help you improve your workflow. Now, I have a preset pack down below. It is available for £9.99. That preset pack will also enter you into a giveaway. If you are UK or Europe based, you could potentially win a Tesla Model 3. That's correct. You could win a Tesla Model 3 if you go and buy that preset pack. On top of that, worldwide, internationally, we also have another giveaway going on with that preset pack and there's up to £10,000 up for grabs. Uh, there is a one prize for £5,000 and then five times £1,000 as well to go with it. And on top of all of that, there's also three people that I will travel to. I will fly to your city or village or wherever you live to come and shoot with you for two days. That's all to do with that preset pack. So if you, pr if you buy that preset pack, you get entered automatically into those giveaways. And on top of all of that, every single person that buys one of those preset packs gets a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me. It sounds like a lot, and that's because it is. We're gonna jump into Lightroom, we're gonna throw a screen record on and see how these presets work. Okay, so the screen record is on, we are live. So here is a photo from Paris. For each of the presets, I'm gonna use two different photos. So this is the first one. I'm gonna show you how to edit night photos with the preset packs that I have available. And at the end of all of this, I'll actually show you how you can create your own presets if you wanna do it yourself. So the first one here we're gonna look at is day fade at the top. We're gonna to click on that. And you can see instantaneously, it looks a little bit uh, underexposed and also a little bit orange. So what we do, increase that exposure like that and then drop the temperature and we're getting to a a good spot we're going to bring up the uh, the shadows and we're going to drop the tint slightly now bearing in mind that all of these presets are designed for nighttime but already that one looks pretty cool so we'll press reset and we'll go to the next one which is a daylight chance a little bit of a different uh color grade on this one and we'll just just bring down that temperature again because it's a nighttime shot and you want that kind of like blue vibe and pretty happy with that actually nice and faded quite like that cool we'll reset that and we'll look at the next one which is dream state which is my favorite one at the moment we're going to change the temperature again to bring back those uh, you know those those night tones bring up the exposure maybe drop some of those shadows bring some of that contrast back and Bam. it's like three or four clicks and we're, we're getting there just a quick run through some of these settings you've got the exposure contrast now if you look at all of these settings including the tone curves let's go through the tone curves that's what a preset does it saves you all of that time normally if you're having to do the all of these tone curves uh, every single photo you're gonna end up spending a lot longer than just having a preset that kind of gets you to that good starting point and that's the point of presets is to get you to a good starting point point let's move on to the next one which is press reset and we'll go to flatter than flat now this one i designed to have kind of like a flat vibe to it so like contrasty um, to get rid of the contrast and bring out some of those shadows again bringing those temperatures down bring up that exposure i'm just gonna just gonna put it towards the magenta slightly and again bam couple of different clicks and we're good we're there we're ready to go now i will add these presets that are down below there's a when, once you download them it goes to a pdf file that pdf file contains three links it has one link for desktop it has another link for mobile if you uh, edit all your photos on your mobile and then the third link is for you guys to go and book yourself a zoom call with me next one is misty choice now this one I designed for uh, misty or foggy times. If you're out and about and it's foggy, this one is perfect, but it also works at night. You just gotta find that sweet spot with the temperatures and the tints. So we'll go to about there and there, and maybe bring down some of those highlights and drop that contrast slightly. And it's a completely different vibe, but look how different they all are. It all brings out different tones and vibes with your photos. Next one is Moody Crush. Now it kind of says what it is on the tin. It's a bit moody, it crushes, you get the point, you know how it is. Let's change that white balance again. And again, slightly different. You can see how these all look very different. Um, but these are only taking what, three, four, five clicks and we've got to the finished product which is the whole point of presets. Next one is Night Fade. This one's my favorite at the moment because what I've done is I've inbuilt already the graduated filters and a radio filter to kind of accentuate those nighttime shots. So here we have the radio filter over the whole thing, um, which kind of focuses here and then slowly fades out. 
which go off that because we don't need it at the moment. And I'm going to come back to how you can use this night one during the day because it does work. So we're going to bring down the exposure just slightly, drop the highlights. And we're actually going to make it a little bit warmer to about there. And I am I'm solid with that one. I like that one. Reset and go to super moody tones. Now this one is a super, super moody vibe. Very contrasty, very heavy on that contrast. So you're going to bring up that exposure, drop that temperature for that night shot to bring up those blues. And already you can see how moody it is down here with those contrasty tones. So if you don't like that, you could just get rid of the contrast and it looks pretty good, right? But I like those contrasts sometimes. I like that deep contrasty feel. Some people like it, some people don't. It's definitely personal preference. And already between the, the ones we've gone through, it already shows you a lot of different variations within these 10. So we'll go to the night train. This is also one of my personal favorites at the moment. Bring up the exposure. It's got that like bluey green vibe, which I really, really like at the moment. And we're just gonna make it a little bit warmer, not much, literally just a little bit. So if we take that all the way down to the bottom of the bottom of the, the blues, so it's at 2000 Kelvin, and we're just gonna slowly, slowly bring that back by pressing the up arrow to about, about there, I like that, 2100 Kelvin, and we're gonna bring down the shadows like so, look at that, bam. And all of these all have a different vibe to them. Again, how many clicks was that? What, three or four? And you've got to a good final image. And we'll go to the last one, which is Tone Deaf Dreams. Now this one's got a bit of a dreamy vibe to it. it. Does start out a little bit warm because it's very good in the daytime stuff, which we'll look at in a moment. And we're just gonna drop that there, like so, and a bit of the contrast. Let's bring that towards the magenta slightly. And we'll go with, with that, I reckon. Okay, so I've gone with a street shot here. We're gonna click on day fade here, and we're just gonna change up the tint slightly to about there, maybe bring up the exposure, and the colors kind of speak for themselves. I mean, that looks quite nice. What I'd probably do to this a little bit more would maybe add in another graduated filter to accentuate that light coming in from the left, but that was like, what, two, two clicks? Maybe even just one drag with the tint. We'll go to daylight chance. This one's very good during the daytime, especially for city stuff. It's very warm, very natural. Um, and we'll just drop the, the, the temperature just slightly to make it a little bit cooler. And we'll bring up the dehaze to give some of that, that nice kind of like gritty, moody feels. And there we go, bam. I mean, these shots, this shot here was taken on a Canon M50. So it wasn't taken on a high-end camera. This is a budget camera with a budget sensor and you can see it still works. Now, we can go over to the left and we'll go down to dream state. Now, because it's a daytime shot and the exposure is at plus 0.60, it's a bit too bright. So what you've got to do is just bring that down to about there. And then we're going to increase the temperature to make it a little bit warmer. You can just drop those highlights and then increase the dehaze a little bit. And you've got, again, a completely different image to the last two. Press reset and we're going to head over to Flatter than flat. Again, another good daytime one. Drop that temperature slightly just to get that white balance nice. We can probably even drop some of those shadows as well to about there. I mean, it's on, it's, I, I, I don't know how else to like promote presets. Not necessarily mine. I mean, if you want to enter this, then obviously you get into a giveaway as well, but presets are such a good tool. We'll go to Misty Choice. Again, this is predominantly for when it's foggy or misty out. But as you can see, it works a treat as well during the daytime. If you want that kind of like uh, green, kind of yellowy vibe off your edits, I mean, it works. I like it. You can even push it towards the magentas a little bit and maybe even make it a little bit cooler. That looks sick. I love that. It's got that nice kind of like summery vibe to it. like fresh, nice fresh vibes to it. Uh, we'll go to Moody Crush. Moody Crush is very warm. It's predominantly used for like sunsets or sunrises, which I really, really like. So we'll just drop the temperature for this shot, maybe to about there and maybe drop the tint ever so slightly and a nice simple edit on that shot as well. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna show you how you can use Night Fade during the day. Now, Night Fade is a nighttime preset, but you can use it during the day. So if you come over to here, go to the filters, go to the top one, and delete that one there. 
and then come down to temperature and just bring the temperature to make it warmer. We'll go to about, let's say about there and then bring up the exposure, bring up the shadows, drop the contrast and drop that vibrance. And maybe we can make it a little bit more magenta and drop the contrast a little bit more. Again, this preset is predominantly for nighttime. It's not a daytime preset, but you can use it during the day if you so wish. It works very good for some uh, car shots that I've used already, but again, nighttime shot, this one works perfectly on. Next one is super moody tones. It's that dark contrasty vibe again. Just gonna take the tint and make it a little bit more magenta-y and make sure the highlights aren't too bright. Bring up the exposure slightly, drop that contrast just a tiny bit and you've got a nice contrasty moody shot. Next one up is the Night Train. So again, Night Train kind of says it all. It is another night preset, but you can use it during the day. Take that temperature slider and bring it towards the nice warm tones. Bring up those that exposure slightly, drop the contrast, drop the shadows, and there we go. You've got that nice greeny blue in the shadows, which I really, really like. And uh, reset that, and we'll move on to Tone Death Dreams. Again, this one is very good for nighttime, but we'll increase the exposure, and we will uh, just change up the tint slightly, bring it towards the green, and then make it a little bit warmer. Drop the highlights, drop the whites, drop those shadows down. Maybe make it even more towards the tint slightly to about there. Another good street shot and edit. And I just wanted to show you that quickly. I mean, it's a nice quick tutorial on how you can use them in Lightroom, uh, the presets below. But not only do you get the presets, but you get that one-on-one -on -one Zoom call. Everybody gets that. And then also on top of all of that, you get entered into a huge, huge giveaway for everybody worldwide. Now, if you don't want the presets, but you want to do the Zoom call, you can go ahead and buy the presets. You don't have to use them, but you can still get access to that Zoom call. And if you want to have multiple chances in the giveaway, you can buy multiple packs if you so wish. But if you'd like to make your own presets, then uh, you, can, you can do it this way. So for example, let's just change up some of these settings. Let's just press auto over there. We've made a couple of selections in this tone curve. We've changed up some of these like this. We've just played around with it a little bit. What have you, yeah, like this, blah, 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 right? And you like what you've seen on the, on the screen. And then what you do is you go over here to presets, press create preset. You give it a name. Uh, this is a preset pack. And then press here where it says group, press new group and put new preset pack press save, press create. And then once you've done that, over on the left hand side, it'll show up where it says the preset pack. So if we click on that, this is the one that you've just created. This is a preset pack, click there, and everything you just did is automatically on that file, nice and easy. Now, if you do wanna sell those, like I do down in the description, you could just go ahead, right click on there, and you can just press export group, choose where you wanna save it, and there we go. That simple. Then you drag and drop that file into your into your website, onto your service or wherever you want to sell it, and you're off and away. I hope this has helped. We're gonna jump into the hashtag optical wonder that I use over on Instagram to see the content that you're creating and in turn inspire me. And I'm gonna see what shots you've been taking over the last couple of days. Okay, the hashtag is up to 323,000 posts by the middle of this year. I'm trying to get it to 500,000. We're gonna to go to the most recent and do a little refresh here. Now we're gonna go down, we're gonna try and find some shots that you guys have all been creating. This here, I love the colors on this, really nice. And uh, we'll go down a bit more, let's go with this night shot here, it's really nice. Uh, of uh, A bus in London, love the vibe, love the colors. Going down, let's go with, uh, oh that's really creative, I like that. That's from Optical Joe, good shot dude, like that. Going down a bit more, ooh, that's really simple, but really, really nice. What a great shot. <sighs> I wanna try and find something like that in, in London. I've never seen anything like that. If anyone knows of a place like this in London, then let me know down in the description. Uh, down in the description? If anyone, yeah, down in the, down in the comments, you know what I meant. Good Lord, terrible. Uh, nice street shot here. 
We have some people walking through a tunnel with like a bus going on the right hand side. Love that. We'll do two more. This shot is insane. Wow. Dude, that is, these are actually sick. What an amazing set. Wow. Rate that a lot. Okay, we'll do one more. Let's go with, uh, okay, there's two here that I like. There's this one, which is the lighting. Like that's, an, I love the lighting in that. And the next one is this one here, this car shot. Really love, oh, what a great set. Love that car park too, the colors. Really nice. Great work. Again, if you want to get featured on this channel, you can use the hashtag optical wonder. You put it in your caption over on Instagram when you post a photo and I get to see it on the hashtag and in turn showcase you guys on here. Now this video was predominantly to showcase you how my presets are working, but also how you can create your own. But on top of that, kind of how valuable presets are. Now there's a, you know, some people like presets, some people don't like presets. My whole opinion is it speeds up your workflow. And you've seen that, how quickly I kind of was able to go through the edits and show you, you know, step by step, which ones work and which ones don't for night and day and so on and so forth. Personally, I think they're very good to have, whether you buy them from me or from someone else or you create your own, they're definitely a very good tool to have as a photographer or as a creative because it speeds up that workflow. With all that being said, create more, stress less, go sell, go. with all that being said, create more, stress less, Go and buy yourself a preset pack down below for £9.99 and also get entered into a giveaway and have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me.